welcome to What's Up With That, but also welcome to Brickopolis. It is a world made fully from 11 Lego architecture sets, some that are very rare now and are also very old. And today, in, we are doing a Lego review, but we are going to, I'm going to talk about all of the Lego architecture sets I've ever done. Not all of them have been videoed, a lot of them haven't. Um, I'm going to answer questions like, which set is which set that I have is cheapest, best value, most expensive, hardest to build, easiest to build, top top my top three favorites, and my top three and my bottom three least favorites. So I'm pretty excited to show you all my amazing sets, like my Statue of Liberty, which you've seen, the Burj Khalifa on its own, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, Dubai, which has Burj Khalifa too. Tokyo, we have we have the Lego New York, Lego London, Lego Las Vegas, Lego Seattle Space Needle, Lego Paris, Lego Shanghai, Lego Great Wall of China, very sturdy. And now, so those are all of the things I have built, but we're gonna, let's go ahead and talk about which thing is the cheapest. do a review our cheapest set that I have. The cheapest set that I have that you should potentially buy if you are interested in this is Lego London. Lego London Lego London has Trafalgar Square which actually is its own set and um, Big Ben which is also its own set by London Eye and um, London Bridge which is which is its own set as well. I don't necessarily recommend doing these in their separate sets because that costs pretty, it's very, it's very expensive. And I like how this is not a good set. Just, I feel like the colors are just a little dull, which is the only thing I don't like about it. But otherwise, it is very cheap at only about $30 at most places and um, like $20 if you can get it for a bargain. So, that the so our cheapest set is London. Now we will be reviewing our most expensive set. So as you may have guessed, the most expensive set is the Statue of Liberty. Also, it is the set with the most pieces, and this set costs typically about one hundred and twenty dollars. So yeah, that's a lot. Very, 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 very expensive. Well, for a kid, maybe not for an adult. I recommend getting this for like a birthday or Christmas or something. I got it for Christmas. Um, but it's really, it's a really great set. Um, you might have seen my review for that. Um, the only piece I do not like is the face. It looks um, kind of expressionless, which I, w I wish it showed. Some expression, well, not necessarily expression, but more physical features. I wish that it perhaps has a head and nose, maybe eyes or something. So I just wish it could had expressed that more. But the phys these physical features and the um, and the base are very in this is very intricate, and the base I love so it's repeated on each side. And it was and this actually took a very long time to build at 1,685 pieces. But Statue of Liberty is our most expensive set. Now we will go and talk about our set that I think has the best value. The set that I believe has the best value is probably um, also London. It is also the cheapest, as you've seen earlier in the video. Um, but it's the best value because on like on Lego.com, I believe it was rated um, a four and a half stars, and there are others that are only rated four stars that cost more. So I would say that this is um, very good, and also it's starting to become one of the older Lego architecture sets. So I believe that soon, perhaps by in 2022, it'll be one of the rare one of the rarer sets. So currently, it is a pretty good deal to get. Um, 
Like I said earlier, he's got Trafalgar Square, Big Ben, London Eye, London Bridge. Um, also, the only thing I don't like about it, it didn't show a lot of color. And that, there you have it. The most valuable set is London. Hi. So, the, the set that I would say is the easiest to build would have to be the Seattle Space Needle. The reason I say this is because I don't remember the exact number, but it was about 100 pieces. Very low amount of pieces, and it's not that complicated. It's just like looping these through here, stacking this, um, building a little base, and also it doesn't have it come with a lot of color either, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it is super easy. I got this built in like 10, 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, I would definitely say that the Seattle Space Needle is the easiest. All right, now we're gonna talk about which set is the hardest. The set I would say is the hardest is probably Statue of Liberty here. So in this base, it took a very long time making each corner. So each thing there was at least at least four pieces because you need to put one piece on each spot and you needed to repeat that over and over and over. So it's the same on every side, which means like you do an entire wall, another wall, another wall, another wall. And then once you've done it, when you're done doing that, you gotta make like all of these plates that you lay onto the figure of Lady Liberty. And it's, and you gotta make her head and it's just very complicated build. It's actually a 16 and up. And I have a few others that are 16 and up, like um, Dubai and Tokyo. But this, this is, I feel like this is a level harder than that. Not necessarily 18 and up, because I did it, but it, it's harder than you think. Well, actually, okay, it's not, because I built it. But it's still very hard. It's my hardest one here. Bottom three sets, my least favorites, my least favorite ones. So my absolute least favorite is actually Burj Khalifa on its own without the rest of Dubai. The reason I say this is because this set bores me. It is a lot of stacking, it is pure stacking. It's mainly a lot of like, I don't know what the piece is called, like a tall stud. Tall like stud, boring base of just a bunch of squares. Um, it's not col not colorful at all. Also, it's annoying. But it's annoying how these constantly just like fall off. So um, I'm gonna say that this is in the 11th place, my least favorite of all of the Lego architecture sets I have ever done. My second least favorite is Seattle Space Needle, which you've already seen. It's very gray, which is not like that. Like Burj Khalifa, I thought it was stony, kind of. This version, blue, it looks like it's lit up. It's actually a little taller. Um, but it, it, like I said, I finished it in 10, 15 minutes. So it was over very quickly and I just wish I had more. And it's just, the, the set didn't work out for me. It just wasn't good for me. Okay, and my third least favorite is something with something, something that has been on here, been been shown three times. It is Lego London. So the reason this is not my favorite is because this was very, very hard to choose upon. But all the others, I like their qualities. And this one, I like its qualities too, but not as much. I find that, so this set I actually had to start over halfway through because a lot of the base it got kind of very frustrating. It was like not su being supported in the ways that it needed to be. So many different shades of gray. That's what I, <laughs> that's what, uh, one thing I don't like and 
a lot of beige. I wish I had seen more color, like like a Tokyo. I love the colors in Tokyo. Um, I just wish that this had been more colorful. Um, it, it just also there there's so many things in London that I feel like it could have represented. There could have been more things, but anyway, those are my bottom three. Burj Khalifa, Seattle Space Needle, and London. Okay, now we're going to talk about my top three. My, for my top three, for starting at number three, we have Lego Architecture Dubai. So, it has the Jumeirah Emirates buildings, which are hotels. It has the frame, lovely golden pieces. It has an enormous Dubai, it has an enormous Burj Khalifa with lots of blue in it that I love, transparent pieces, I like that. Um, it has the, um, the Burj Al Arab, which is another hotel, and it's in the water, as you can see. So, something about this, I know it has beiges like London, which was in my bottom three, but I also love its blues, all the transparent pieces used, like uh, these, I love these building, these tower lots that took a while, but it was, I'd say it's worth it, and this, I love those things, colors on the inside and the zigzag patterns on the outside, it was, it gave me a challenging build, which was something I really loved about this. And my second favorite, Lego Tokyo. Tokyo is the world's most populated city at the moment. And so it's got this little um, temple that it didn't show the name of. It is kind of fun to build. And it has this, which is like very similar to building the Eiffel Tower. But I love the vibrant red colors and these, this tower here which some occasionally falls off. Also, this was very challenging to build, the Mogaku and Kukun Tower. It was very challenging to build. On the inside, it's much, it looks more difficult than it seems on the outside. Chidori Fuji Park, with all of its lovely cherry blossom trees. Um, Mount Fuji, which is not actually like listed as a piece of architecture because it's a mountain, but it, I really like that in the background, even if it is just 2D. Um, Shibuya Crossing, which is kind of like Times Square, which I thought was really cool. Something I thought they should have included in New York. Um, um, I just love all those colorful feelings playing around. Tokyo Big Sight, slightly small because in the actual picture in real life is huge. Um, and the Tokyo Sky Tree. It's very tall, not the tallest building here, but still very tall. And I love these lo lovely white strips. And it's it's amazing. And my number one build. This is the big moment. Drum roll. Statue of Liberty. <laughs> um, this one I love. Like I said earlier, it is also the hardest to build. That's something I love about it. Like I said in Dubai, it gave me a really nice challenge. I like a good challenge. Um, also, most expensive. Um, that is the only problem I have with it, a um, little face part, but other than that, I love its physical features, it took me a very long time to build actually, I love this base, I love its grandness, I love how it feels like a Lego that you could like pick up and like, it feels very sturdy actually, which is one of the things I like about it the most. And I feel like this is a set that you should get. It's a great one. That is our number one set. Our top three. Number three, Dubai. Number two, Tokyo. And number four, Statue of Liberty. We'll see you again on What's Up With That. Bye.